And welcome back. Continuing to work on the nose of the right aileron. In particular, working on the uh, steel tube counterweight for the right aileron. As I discussed in a previous video, there's a lot of cautionary issues with working with a steel tube and aluminum skin in that the skin is a lot softer and will tend to um, make the hole wider in the skins if you're not careful as the drill bit walks, you know, it, it's just not, uh, I couldn't get my drills to, to eat into the steel quite as easily. So it would walk and it'd make the hole larger. Fortunately, you end up enlarging all of these holes anyway. So I didn't have any issues when I went to put in the uh, pop rivets, but it's still something you want to be cognizant of as you're putting this together. So one of the first steps you're going to have uh, is assembling everything like I'm doing here and then it has you uh, drill out the location of the uh, nose skin holes in the counter uh, counterweight on the uh, leading edge at either end where the where the ribs meet up and again um, as I talked about the the skins make you know being made out of aluminum are a whole lot softer than the steel so my drill bits, I think, are a little bit dull and were walking a little bit and they were enlarging those holes. And so um, one of the things I eventually figure out is that what you need to do is just use a permanent marker or a center punch or something just to mark the steel tube and then remove it from the, the whole piece and just use a drill press. And that's what I end up doing. Um, so what I'm doing here is marking the locations of the holes of the ribs onto the uh, the counterweight and then you remove it and I took it over to the drill press and made those holes and now I'm lining every everything up and just making sure that uh, it, it's not going to be a twist because one thing you want to make sure of is that you get these two uh, ribs lined up correctly so that when you go to put it into the skin they're not off uh, you know they're both centered on each other on the counterweight otherwise you will obviously put a twist into your aileron and that doesn't help anybody so as you're putting it together just really make sure that you get these two ribs centered um, and if you don't then uh, make sure that you have enough um, material that you can try it again basically um, but it's really important that you get those two ribs centered And then some of the next steps are going to be putting the assembly back into the skins after you've bolted the counterweight onto the nose ribs and then verifying that everything's straight and then marking out the locations of the rest of the leading edge um, attachment holes where you'll use pop rivets to secure the skin to the counterweight. And again, the, the big concern throughout the majority of this portion is just making sure everything is lined up straight and that you don't induce a twist into your aileron. And the instructions will have you do some steps to verify once everything's put together that you're not inducing any kind of twist. And I think it gives you a certain measurement of, of what's acceptable. So again, as, as is common practice, Throughout the build, you'll assemble, then you'll remove, and then you'll assemble again, and then you'll remove, and rinse and repeat. So here again, like I talked about, is assembling everything just to make sure it's all lined up, and then going in and marking, and this is actually drilling those two um, those two initial holes, um, and then drilling the trying to mark and drill the rest of the holes on the leading edge to the counterweight. And again, this is me trying to use the drill bit and realizing that it's just walking and eating away at the hole in the leading edge of the skin. And so I decide to take it back apart once I've marked all the locations and we'll go use the, the drill press. So I've got a little bracket there that a friend of mine let me use. It's a magnetic block, basically. You can, and it's got, essentially it's got an on off switch. Um, 
and it makes it a lot easier to hold the uh, tubing in place. It's kind of a V-notch um, magnetic piece, and so um, you know the steel bar will sit in there and uh, have a nice resting place so it won't move around and makes it a lot easier to drill. I'm gonna have to figure out where he got this uh, piece so I can get it for myself and get him his part back, but it was really nice to have that. It definitely helped uh, making sure that I'm drilling a, a straight uh, straight line or straight hole into the, the metal tube. And now just putting everything back together to make sure that it all lines up well and uh, soon I'll be uh, assembling everything uh, together for the final time. And so these next couple videos, uh, I should be able to get the uh, rest of the aileron build uh, in the next video or two. Once all of this is complete, essentially it's just putting the two, uh, the top and bottom skins together and that's not a very long process. So, so I'm going to let these videos run out here. And again, for those that continue to watch these videos, I appreciate it. If you get a chance, hit that like button for me. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell and you'll get a notification anytime I put one of these videos out. We'll see you guys next time.